Alright guys, welcome back. We are going into game number three right now between the University of Colorado and Colorado Springs. Going against the University of North Dakota. Right now UCCS is up. Uh, whoops. <laughs> we are... <laughs> Had a little bit of a mess up right there. We uh playing against the University of North Dakota. We are up 2-0 at the moment. Going into game number three. And this is the cool thing about the CSL. There is a 2v2 match in the midst of it. So it adds a little flavor. Adds a little fun. And gives a little opportunity for other teams to maybe take a match off that they usually would. Maybe in the ones. But right now we're just waiting for the players to get set. We do see right now for North Dakota we have Fish and Warhammer. Playing as a Zerg and Terran. On the other side, we're putting we're uh, putting in the B team right now. Uh, our little baby hatchlings. They did a really good job in the B team scrim. Really impressive. So we're going to give them a shot on the game day itself. Mr. Jakucha and Tumaj, Jared and Matt. If you guys know them. And we got a little bit of kind of a little my captain's fault. Actually, spinning his turn when he wanted to play Protoss. All right, guys, and we're just kind of waiting for the players to finish up at the moment. Kusha, you ready? Alright guys, and both players are ready on both sides. And here we go, going into game number three. Uh, could be potentially the final, it could be start of a turnaround for University of North Dakota. Uh, definitely 2v2 match is really interesting. Uh, I've seen definitely comebacks on it before. Teams that have been down 2-0 win the 2v2 match and start bringing their team back from there. So definitely let's hope for the best for University of North Dakota, North Dakota. On the other side for UCCS, this could be their final match if we win. If by we, I mean me, too. Uh, if we win, we will go 3-0 shutout, I think. Yeah, 3-0 shutout. Let's get a little bit of interface action. Oh, I forgot it's a twos match, so I actually can't do <laughs> interface like that. Uh, so we'll just kind of pay attention, see what's going on. Starting at the top of the map at the 12 o'clock position, we have the two players for University of Colorado in Colorado Springs. The Terran player, Matthew Dodds, Mr. Tumaj himself. On, right next to him, his partner on the right side for the 2v2 match. We have the red player, Jared Laddermilk, Mr. Jakucha. Down at the bottom side for University of North Dakota, I personally don't know their players, I feel bad, but uh, uh, player number one is going to be Fish, the Zerg player, and right next to him st spawning is the Timmer. Uh, for the map that don't, people that don't know about it, this is Ruins of Tarsonis. This is probably the stupidest map for 2v2 by far. we got a couple awkwardly placed Xelnaga Towers as we look on the side of the map. 
There are just so many obnoxious openings. There's the destructible rocks over here. Destructible rocks over here. There's the entry at the front. Uh, huge ramp, huge ramp, huge ramp going into the natural bases right here. And if you guys didn't see, this is actually day nine burned on this really hard. There is actually a little crevice right here that you could actually sneak units into the back. So really obnoxious map, to say the least. Definitely not a preferred for it, but if my, if our guys could do it, definitely would be proud of them. Uh, looking at it right now, uh, definitely it should be interesting to see what they do. 2v2 matches always come out with really funny strategies. Personally, when I play myself the past five weeks, it's always been a T TNZ combination. I play as Terran, and usually we just end up cheesing within the first few minutes just to take them out. So it turns into a really, really fun match. Uh, really fun and actually really quick. And I mean, with the 2v2, it gets really creative and gimmicky, so it's always fun to watch. Uh, right now, actually, just exactly with the gimmicky play, and uh, maybe this is just to see kind of like an overreaction for uh, the player on the other side. Mr. Jakuch is actually throwing down an Evo chamber, blocking off the gas. I actually think he'll let this finish. And he will. He actually will let this finish right now. There are no things out on the field. Actually, Fish is about to make six of them because of it. And yeah, this Evo chamber is blocking off the gas, so this actually blocks speed upgrade. I like this play by Jakucha. Uh really smart, but unfortunately, with the six links popping out just right then and there, it does gonna be able to get taken out really quick. Those broodlings will actually be able to do some damage though, so they actually might be able to take out some of those links that are there at the moment. And yeah, we see right now they're kind of running after him. They actually might go for the. Will they go? Oh, they're not able to take out any of the. Any of the little broodlings. Uh, right now we do see kind of really changed the strategy of the 2v2 side for UND. It made him pop out a 6 pool. And actually might have been a 6 pool. No. A little bit later than that. But yeah, no, we see it just kind of interesting. So might have gone for a 10 pool. Something more cheesier. But that Evo chamber definitely blocked off. Forced the double gas. And right now there's just not a lot of links for uh, the side of Fish right now. He's got a total of 12 drones on the other side, 17 drones. Worker count for the Terran side is pure even, 18 and 18. So economy should be fairly similar. We're going to look back over at the UCCS side of things. Uh, second gas going up for Tumaj, so it should be interesting what they exactly plan to do. I know I've seen them before. And oh, he actually lets the supply deep. Oh, that's actually there. His drone whoops. I'm like, oh my god, letting in scouting information. What are you doing? Like, you guys are never starting again. No, I'm just kidding. And it looks like uh, the players for UCS are going to make a little bit of a push out right now. About 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Marines with about 6 links. Should be a nice little small push right now on the basis that there's about just 6 links right here. And only about 4 Marines so he could actually out DPS them at the moment. Be able to maybe take that supply depot down even. Uh, what I don't like to see is Warhammer right now. It does have his factory up and running so we actually might see some Hellions or some tanks depending thereof. And, oh, here we go. So right now he just needs to focus on, tries to out-DPS these Marines, and he will perfectly. Uh, Jakucha just needs to sit back, and actually he's going to sit back and make some banelings. This is the fun part about 2v2. This You get to see just some baneling buzz, some crazy, crazy strategies. And I think uh, if he's careful enough, he could actually just take down that supply depot, roll those banelings in there, and just take out the economy. And here we go. Uh, Bailings are streaming into the base. Has to be really careful right now not to lose them just uh, just by attacks. And here we go. Some explosions going off in the middle. And here's the economy line of... Oh my god, the economy line of fish. He loses so many drones right now. He's down to actually six just mining on the minerals. A couple, one on gas. Uh, right now we do see that... Uh, Tumaj, sorry, I almost forgot. Tumaj is taking out the tech lab right now, so Stim is not going to finish up. There's only two barracks. Supply blocked at the moment. Hellion will be able to come out. That second one won't, though, so we're, we're going to be able to see how well can uh, Warhammer Micro. And actually, oh my god, the Hellion does get surrounded, and this might be a Quinn D. Might be a game for UCCS and Series. Oh my god, natural on the backside, just not even teching up or anything. Uh, UCS kind of going for bro, getting the naturals up and running, but I think this might be just a little bit too late at the moment. No economy really either for both players of U and D. Good bailing bust. Uh, good timing push by both players. And oh my god, Tekla, I mean, Factory is getting taken down. He could just focus on that all he wants. Second bailing's coming in. Uh, some bailing's trying to get formed by, oh my god, by Fish, but they all get just rebusted by Jakucha himself. And. This might be game and series right now. Links are streaming in. Speedlings, once this queen gets taken down, it will be GG definitely by far. And oh my goodness, awesome job by UCS. One more round streaming in here, and this should be the final. 
and I wonder what Warhammer is doing. <laughs> Oh god, I'm lagging. Ah, it's not good. Uh, what do you see right now? Starport getting finished up. I think uh, Reactor Honest or Vikings case are some kind of float play. An interesting decision by Warhammer just kind of uh, to float around. Float around structures. Uh, eventually they will burn down. There's nothing to repair them. Uh, I guess win by base race. Yeah, so we're just kind of waiting off to finish off the rest. Uh, buildings, uh, the barracks are about to burn down at the moment. He just needs to get a, a few more Marines kind of coupled up on them and just kind of take a... Yeah, just trying to take a... trying to burn down the command center at the moment. So, definitely thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's definitely... Yeah, so GG, we're just kind of waiting for the command center to burn down at the moment, so we should be good and set and done. Um, kind of trying to float the command center away, just kind of waiting to out DPS it. And and there it is, command center going down. I think there's just one more uh, burning. Oh my god, what is Warhammer doing? Come on, man. Uh, as much as I, I mean, never quit attitude and whatnot, but at this point it's kind of pointless. Warhammer just kind of dragging out the inevitable. Uh, not exactly sure what he's doing. Uh, right now the Zerg player is out completely, and here we go, just the rest of the discovery. And this should be the final unit over UCCS, takes a 3-0. Uh, apologize, apologize if there was any lag, but congratulations to UCCS either way. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, North Dakota, uh, for playing.